In this video, I'm gonna give you the top water activities on San Diego Bay, next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to a video here in the San Diego series. We're gonna show you a bunch of awesome things you can do on San Diego Bay, whether it's renting out a yacht that we're on, we're gonna talk about that a little later on in the video, or some of the cheaper options like taking the Coronado Ferry or going on brunch cruises or full bay tours. So stay tuned, just enjoy the sunny San Diego weather here in America's finest city. For these flagship cruises, you're gonna wanna park over here at Navy Pier as it's 10 bucks, which is pretty respectable compared to other parking lots. Try to find parking here at Navy Pier, but they fill up. Make sure you get here at a good time. For the first activity on San Diego Bay, we're hopping on a flagship cruise all around the north and south side of San Diego Bay for two hours. This is the Visitor's Info Center, and this is where you will find the flagship ticket office. If you go online, you can reserve your boat tours, your bay tours. They also offer the Patriot Jet Boat, which is amazing. It twirls you around. So the harbor tours, you can do a North Harbor or South Harbor tour, and they have different times. The North Harbor tour is 10 a.m., 12.30, and 3, and then 5.30 in the summertime. And then the South Harbor is 11.15, 1.45, and 4.15. And they have local craft beers on board, it says. And then they also have dinner cruises and a champagne brunch cruise. And here are the different prices. Here's the Patriot jet boat. It's $35 for adult and child, $30 for military. And it looks like they do 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 30, 5 30. On the summer, it's Tuesday to Sunday. And then on the winter, it's weekends only. 30 minute high speed thrill ride. For the full bay tour, you're gonna be boarding on gate number one. Right when you enter, we take a little picture for you in front of the flagship buoy. Just boarded the flagship boat and I just wanted to give you the prices of the full bay tour which we're going on. It's the best value and it's $37 for adults, $27.75 for kids 4 to 12 years old and $31.45 for military. You're definitely getting a better value for the full bay tour. You get both and it's a little longer but you get to see everything. And there is the Broadway Pier and it looks like we're starting to move. Looks like everybody's flocking to the top deck but I'm gonna stay here in the middle. As you can hear, this is a two hour guided tour and they give you a lot of great information about the Navy and everything around the bay here. Coronado, it was undeveloped property. Not only does the boat give you some really great historical facts about Coronado, San Diego Bay and the history of San Diego, they also stop so you can take photo ops around the bridge and learn a little more about America's finest city. Now this is a total different view of Coronado Bay Bridge that I'm used to seeing. Going right under. They do have two snack bars on board, one here and one on the top deck. They have snacks, chips, cookies and all that good stuff and some craft beer. So if you're looking for stone, wanting to try the Caledad beer, which is really good, they have it over here. Not to mention they also got coffee if you're trying to wake up. There's one thing that's undeniable about being on the water. This city is beautiful in every angle. State of the art electronic propulsion system that could power a small to medium sized city. Up top, there's guys working up there on the scaffolding. This is only one of two amphibious bases in the U.S. Have a great afternoon, and for those leaving, I'll see y'all downstairs. So halfway through the full bay tour, they actually dock back here, and then some people can get off, and more people can get back on, and then they do the north side of the bay, which we're going to stick with and there's the USS Midway Museum. And I believe that's the ferry to Coronado right there. Right. Now we're here on the north side of the full tour. And right behind me is North Island Naval Station and that's where they filmed a ton of scenes from Top Gun Maverick. You can see Maverick riding his motorcycle with the Cabrillo National Monument and Point Loma in the background and their beach which is closed off to the public. They actually built 
the bar which was in the movie where they sang Great Balls of Fire. Where Miles Teller, aka Rooster, sang Great Balls of Fire. This is a great place if you want to dine with a nice view of the skyline. This is Coast Terra. We have a lot of event space which is right there and then the restaurant is over here as well. Other great events that they offer is Hops on the Harbor. Try some local craft beers from San Diego's finest breweries. Is $84.50 for adults and $50.70 for kids 4 to 12. Obviously, they're not gonna have Hops on the Harbor, but you can bring your kids on here. And then if you add the $35, you get unlimited beverage package. So, pretty good deal. We're gonna show you another brunch later on in this video. This is where my best friend got married. That's Tom Ham's Lighthouse. And now we're entering the Harbor Island, to the Shelter Island area and that's Bali High in the distance. What I really like about this tour is that you can see submarines that the Navy used, nuclear powered submarines, other aircrafts, and just things that you wouldn't see from the Embarcadero. And you just get a nice little perspective of Point Loma, the Fort Rosecrans Cemetery right there on the hill. It's just a really cool view of San Diego. It is one large land area, but it wasn't always that way. That's it for the two hour cruise. You can also charter private cruises for weddings or special events. Also, once you get off, they have your photos for purchase for 20 bucks over here and they print it out. So if you want that, you can grab that. So this is the picture that you took before and it's right here at the end and it's 20 bucks. If you're enjoying this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing to Jcation as I have a ton of San Diego, Las Vegas, and world content. And now back to the video of best water activities in San Diego Bay. It's floppy hat season, baby. After your cruise, there's a place called the Wheelhouse that Flagship owns, and they have a bunch of souvenirs. You can pick up your shirts, postcards, and everything you need from San Diego if you're visiting. So this next activity is the cheapest thing that you can do on San Diego Bay, and that's taking the Coronado Ferry, which is $7 each way, $14 round trip, and it's about a 15 minute ride all the way to the Coronado Ferry landing, and then you can take it back to either here, to Broadway Pier, or over by the Marriott and the Rady Shell. So there's two ways you can get back to mainland San Diego. So here's your ferry schedule. It's every hour starting at 9 o'clock. It runs till 10 p.m. but only on Fridays and Saturdays. So your last one on the weekdays is 9 p.m. It's only 4.15 so I gotta wait for the 5 o'clock ferry. We're hopping on the 5 o'clock ferry ride to Coronado and like I said $7.00 they have this top deck here with a bunch of bench seating. You can take pictures and enjoy the San Diego sunlight while there's still sunlight. And downstairs is the covered area if you choose not to soak into the sun. And not everybody wants to be in the sun the entire time, but it's only about a 10 to 15 minute ride over to Coronado. 501, so they do tend to leave right on the dot. That's where my car is parked, right there. And there it is. That was the boat we were just on, on the two hour full bay cruise, the Spirit of San Diego. Now we're cruising by the Manchester Grand Hyatt, the Marriott Marina, and the Rady Shell with the Hilton Bayfront in the distance. If you haven't seen my video yet on all these hotels, check it out after this one's over with. If you're coming to San Diego on a budget, this is definitely the best way to get on the bay. $7 each way. And if you want to spend your day out here and plan it out to go to Coronado, check out my videos in Coronado after this one's over with. Look at the Bay Bridge over here, 2.1 miles long. So this boat was a little slower today, so I'd say 20 minutes to get across, but enjoy the scenic views. Sit down, relax, breathe in that San Diego breeze. And just enjoy yourself. If you're thirsty, they do have a vending machine here so you can grab waters and sodas. And if you have your bike with you to get on the Bayshore Bikeway, they have a bike dock around here too for you. Yeah. Look at this, free service before 9 a.m. Weekdays only, excludes holidays. I just did a round trip around Coronado on my skateboard. Now I'm gonna hop back onto the ferry, but instead of taking it back to the Broadway Pier because it only comes here once an hour, I'm gonna take it over to Rady Shell and Joe's Crab Shack and then just skate back to my car. 
but give you another view and that's a little faster. So to the convention center it's only every 30 minutes. So right over that way, the Padres game is going on right over there and Rady Shell. So I'm gonna catch the last half of the game when I get home. Also, if you wanna get a great sunset view between seven and eight, depending on when the sun sets, just check your phone, see when the sun sets in San Diego. You can look over towards the west and get a really nice view of the sun setting over Point Loma from here. Check that out, that's Rady Shell. That's where I went to see Olivia Rodrigo. And I noticed during the concert, people just parked their yachts right up against those rocks over there and were able to watch. If she was performing now, I could totally see her. Ah, next time I'm gonna find somebody with a boat and we're gonna watch a concert here. Over this way is the yachts that you see during Comic-Con where TV Guide rents it out, IMDB, and they interview all the talent over at Comic-Con. And this has to be the nicest Joe's Crab Shack location in the world. Look at that. And this is right where it docks every half hour. This right here is that crazy Patriot boat. We're not gonna get on it. So that's it for today over at Flagship. Now we're gonna cruise on to tomorrow where we're gonna check out Seaforth Rentals, which is over here by the Marriott Marina. We're here at Seaforth Boat Rentals. They have anything from stand-up paddle boards all the way to yachts. They got power boats, they got sailboats, and we're gonna get on a few of these, try out a few wave runners, and just get out on the water, have a good time. We're gonna meet a couple of people here over at Seaforth to walk you through exactly how easy it is to get a boat or get a rental for the day. So let's start off with the tour on the dock. here with tour manager Daniel. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having us on the water today. You're gonna give us a little tour here on the dock about a few things that you guys have for rentals. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We have um, jet ski rentals, power boats, sail boats, um, all the way up to like 51 foot uh, sail yachts too. Uh, you can get down here on one of our kayaks or paddle boards, uh, cruise through um, the marina here and then out into the bay also. Do you need a special license or certification to get on the water? No license at all. All we require is a credit card and photo ID uh, and then just be 18 or older. Um, our trained staff down here will go over the operations of the boat, all the safety equipment and um, all the best practices, the right of ways and the rules of the road there for you too. We're reservation only. Uh, you can call to make a reservation in our uh, reservation hotline or make a reservation online. We are approaching our busy season, so we do recommend at least a couple days in advance to make that reservation. Let's get on the water. Awesome, yeah, let's do it. Excited for this, man, let's, let's check it out. It. Get into Seaforth Rentals is easy. It's Dock A Gate 1, and it's right next to the Sally's Fish House, and the Marriott Marina is just down the way, so if you're staying over at the Marriott, shout out to them. You can just walk over, two minutes stroll from the hotel. This is our StarCraft 20. This is gonna be a two hour minimum. It starts at about $380 for the two hours. Cool, how many people can you fit? Uh, 10. Awesome, man, let's get on it. Awesome, let's do it. Permission to come aboard? Permission <laughs> granted, sir. Yes, sir. What's the fastest we can go when getting out the dock here? Uh, we're gonna get scooting. This is a five mile an hour, no wake zone. But as soon as we um, get out here to the bay, we're gonna really get moving here. Nice, how fast can this guy go? Uh, it's probably gonna reach about 30 miles an hour. Uh, a little windy out here. customers that rent out these types of boats. We have everyone come and join us for the day. We have uh, family, locals, uh, a lot of people from out of town, out of the country, people celebrating birthdays, bridal showers, that sort of thing. Come down with uh, you know your group of 10 here, anchor up in Glorieta Bay and just spend the day on the water. Or you could uh, you know do a loop through the bay here, 
Go up next to the Midway, Star of India, right next to the bait receiver, check out some seals and sea lions and that sort of thing. I mean, it's just a great time out there on the water. So obviously you're gonna get orientated by professionals, so you'll know when there's a five mile per hour zone and when the boundary of the jet skis are and the boats are. So don't worry about it, just make sure you listen like anything else when you're renting something out. You gotta know the rules. So the Loma boat is one of our large group activity vessels. Uh, that can hold up to 30 people. Uh, that's a lot of like birthdays, other get togethers, bachelorette parties, that sort of thing. Uh, so you just bring 30 of your friends, couple beverages, and then we do a nice little tour um, here in San Diego Bay, listen to some music. Uh, we're gonna head down to one of our uh, power yachts. It's a 44 foot power catamaran. Oh, nice. Looking forward to that. He'll give more details when we get there. We're about to get on this yacht right here, the Aquila 44. Bucket list accomplished. We're gonna ride on a yacht right here. This is gonna be a fun one. All right, so Daniel's gonna give us a little tour of the yacht. Awesome, what's up? So here we're in the bridge of the Aquila 44. This is a 44 foot power catamaran. This is gonna be a three or a six hour rental. Uh, this is the fly bridge where the captain operates the vessel. Um, and you get the best view of the whole city skyline here. Let's head downstairs, I'll let check out the rest. This little back seating area where you and your group can kind of hang out, see the rest of the city here, have a nice little bar. On to the inside here. This yacht here has three cabins. A master here, two on the, each side with two heads also. Um, also have a nice little uh, kitchenette area here with a bar also uh, for some additional outside seating. You got a stove if you want to do some cooking. Um, so it's your boat. You let the captain know what you want to do and we'll provide that for you. If you guys want to sit on the anchor and hop in the water for the time, you're more than welcome to do so. And how much would it set you back? Does it depend? Um, it does. So this is going to start uh, at $22.50 for three hours. Uh, they're all bare boat rentals. We um, have trained captains that will introduce to you that will meet you down here the day of your rental. And their fee is uh, $50 an hour. Don't forget the tip. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Can't forget that. So one thing we're uh, super, super excited about to uh, launch this year is our self-guided tour app. So it's just an app on your smartphone here. Uh, it's connected to Bluetooth and GPS. And you're gonna go through the whole little tour of San Diego Bay here, and it's all geofenced in through Bluetooth. So once you hit that geofence, a little uh, fun fact and history about the Midway, the Star of India, or whatever point you're into, it's gonna just tell you some facts about that. You can anchor just outside of the ratty shell there um, and listen to the concert from the water. It's probably one of the best experiences that you could get from the water, listen to live music. Super, super cool. I've actually done it myself. It's awesome. Kayla at Seaforth Boat Rental and I'm going to show you guys exactly where you can and can't go in the bay and the rules and regulations. Seaforth is right here. This is where we are. We're at the very end of the marina. So what you're going to do is just come out, turn left, and then go out into the bay. The marina here is a two mile per hour no wake zone, so no throttle all is necessary for those jet skis. And then this is our number right here if you guys have any questions or any issues while you're out on the water. So don't hesitate to give us a call at any point. Once you start turning, we're going to tell you to turn it off and put it right in. All right, guys, uh, we're on the sea do. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate you, man. All right, let's get on the bay. Start it up. Cool. Have fun, brother. Thanks. So it's only two miles an hour. I'm not even hitting the uh, accelerator. Let's see how we do here. Another San Diego bucket list thing to do is get on a jet ski out on the San Diego Bay. Now, you can bring your cell phone. They have a compartment where you can leave it and it won't get wet. So I got my cell phone in there right now. It's nice and safe. This has been a bucket list to do a jet ski on San Diego Bay. I got the Midway right behind me right now in the, the fish market restaurant. But this is the first time you're seeing me on my GoPro. We're gonna head towards the bridge now. I'm supposed to stay away from boats. So I think I'm pretty far away from boats right now. Let's go. Check this out guys, we are under the Coronado Bridge. Columns right here, they're meant to look like a mission bell. They're not bells, of course. Look at that, that's how a mission bell would look like. Not every day you get to go on Coronado Bridge like this. 
Right across the way, there's Petco Park, home of the Padres. They're about to throw first pitch right now. The game's about to start. They're playing the Diamondbacks. We've had our fun on the Sea Dews. Time to go back in. We get kayaks over here and stand up paddle boards, but I need motors to get around. That's it here from Seaforth Rentals. I'm gonna link them down below. Special thanks to them for showing me all the different boats and things you can do on the water. Now we're gonna have one more segment and that's a brunch cruise, a champagne brunch cruise. Final water activity to do here on San Diego Bay is City Cruises by Hornblower and it is their weekend premier brunch cruise. And it is over on the airport side of the pier, uh, past the start of India. It's on the north side, Pier 1. Make sure you don't go to the pier that I went to, which is closer to the USS Midway. We'll flash back to that and show you exactly what happened. But we had to sprint over here to just, just to make this cruise. It's two hours long from 11 to 1. They start boarding at 10.30. We made it at 10.59. So I made a mistake. The cruise leaves from past the star of India more towards the airport so make sure you don't go to that city cruises pier over by where we did the flagship cruise because that's not where to go checked in you have to check in right here and then the gate is here it's past the star of India you tired <laughs> that's the most I run the whole year my bad that was my fault three, one, two, and three. we were on the other side so we have to run all the way here because this leaves at 11 and we almost missed it, but we made it. We're greeted with some champagne here to start. Oh, that's us, thank you, appreciate it. And here's our table. So this is buffet style, and the buffet is over that way, I'll show you guys. But everything they have here on the menu is what they serve over there. They pass out the desserts a little later on. They serve from 11 to 12.30, so you can grab all you want. If you want to get specialty cocktails, wine, and other drinks, that's extra. All the regular beverages like sodas, coffee, orange juice, that's all taken care of. And it's unlimited champagne too. So here's the champagne and sparkling cider for y'all non-alcoholic drinkers. And the buffet is over this way. Looks like you got some quinoa and some pasta, bow tie salad over here. This looks really tasty. I'm gonna have to head for this. And then on this side you have all your meats, your bacon, your sausage, scrambled eggs. You got some penne pasta over here. That looks good. Your potatoes, your mix of berries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and French toast. Bon appetit. And over this way, you got all your breads, croissants. Looks like they have some bread pudding around here and some apple pie and fruits. Thank you. We got our brunch here. I got the roast beef, some turkey, some bow tie pasta, penne pasta, and the sausage. Dad Cation got more of a breakfast. I got some scrambled eggs, two sausages, a slice of roast beef, and some potatoes, red stoves. All right, let's dig in. I'm gonna start off with this pasta. Nice, light, and cheesy. Go with the sausage. Gotta pour some Tabasco on it. Mm. I love this butai pasta salad. I always get it when I'm in a buffet. Mm. We also have a antipasti salad with a mix of pepperoni and salami. Mm. Takes me back to Bergamo, Italy. So good. Get a piece of this roast beef. Dip it in the au jus sauce right here. And that's not au jus sauce, that's syrup. That just shows how off I am today. I got something that looked like au jus sauce, but it's actually syrup, maple syrup. Don't make that mistake. Mm. I'm feeling that roast beef, but I'm gonna go back and grab some horseradish. There's the horseradish, got some ketchup. All right, now I'm ready to go. There you go. Yeah, perfect way to start off your weekend on a nice sunny day here in San Diego. Take a nice little champagne brunch cruise around the bay. So we turned the champagne into a mimosa. Oh yeah, just what I needed after running from dock to dock. <laughs> Looks like you can have a little dance party here too at some point. This is the biggest boat we've been on in this video and it's nice and luxurious. You get a nice private table here and your own window to look out at all the ships over in North Island. 
over towards Shelter Island and Harbor Island. If you're looking for other fun experiences off of San Diego Bay and the Embarcadero, make sure you check out the Port of San Diego's website where they have a ton of information about things you can do on the Embarcadero, on San Diego Bay, and all the hotels around downtown San Diego. So we made it upstairs, and upstairs they have a bunch of games, hang out, and just have a good time and take pictures around here too. For this way, they got Jenga, you got your Connect Four, lounge chairs over this way as well, and you got some cornhole. Check this out. actually isn't connect four this is more like connect seven there's the captain man and the little crews right here so you got desserts we have some grand brulee i'll grab one for my dad too thank, thank you sir appreciate it they're passing out the creme brulee dessert with some whipped cream up top no crunch but you got your creme in the creme brulee here this is more of like a pudding. This is more of the creme and not the crisp of the brulee, but mm, just what I needed. Hi, Mary. Hi, how are you? Appreciate you, thanks for having us. Oh, you're very welcome, of course. <laughs> Love it on inspiration here. Favorite boat to work on, definitely. Beautiful weekend. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> are those macaroons? <laughs> Can I grab some? Hmm. Pistachio. I'll grab two pistachio. Oh no! It's okay. I'm dropping just... them all over the place. Got a pistachio macaroon. This definitely hits the spot. Here's all your Filipino uncles and aunties on their reunion tour in San Diego. <laughs> yeah, you are. We have a whole package here. There's three sheets in it. Uh, there's a photo in the front, two in the back. You can go ahead and check them out if you like them. We have two packages of $40 and $50. The $40 one would come with all this. $50 would be uh, this plus digital copies. A nice little souvenir for those of you visiting San Diego on a brunch tour. Yeah, for sure. It's nice out today. Get uh, pretty good photos. Check it out. All in one picture, everything I've done in this video. You got a jet ski right here, a power boat, a yacht, the USS Midway, and we're also on another yacht for a buffet. We're here on Hornblower today. We had a nice brunch. Did you guys enjoy yourself? Had a good time? All the champagne you can drink, how much more you want. At night we do dancing. If you like to dance, hello. Are you a salsa dancer? Oh, I like to dance everything. I'm Puerto Rican, so hello. Oh, nice. Puerto Rico! Viva Puerto Rico, la vida loca. Thank you, Evelyn. You're welcome. Have a nice day. And shout out to Sal. He's too shy. Woohoo, Sal. He, yeah, he's always depending on me to do all the fun stuff. Hey, Dadcation. It's a week after uh, Father's Day. Happy belated Father's Day, man. Thank I you. took you on Thank brunch you. here. Thank you very much. Don't say I never gave you anything. Oh, you gave me a lot. If you want more information about San Diego Bay, make sure you check out the Port of San Diego website. I'll link that down below. And if you want to watch my best hotels on San Diego Bay, it's right up here. And in the words of Jaycation, stay traveling, San Diego. Uh...